Shalom. Shalom, beloved. Um, got my Israel necklace on. Uh, so I started the new job. It's been awesome. I definitely learned things from the last one though and from the things that I learned and the things I learned even going through it to now having this job. I'm just, I'm so thankful, so blessed. Um, yes, P.O. Box is closing. I have to say it's kind of relief in a lot of ways because um, my, my hope, my goal for the P.O. Box was to um, have orders shipped out and they still will be. Um, but to have orders shipped out, but also to have that dialogue between people um, who, um, who uh, you know, are subscribed and follow. And also just a great way to, to hear from people. And um, some people wanted to bring, or wanted to give love offerings that way, except, uh, you know, with the exception of, or not with uh, PayPal, which I totally understand. I still haven't switched over to other forms of um, love offerings. My hope and dream being that one day I can be in a situation financially where I'm the one who's able to give love offerings to other people. Um, many of you have followed my journey since uh, leaving my dad's home and being on my own. And it's, it's been a struggle, guys, but it's been amazing at the same time, you know. I'd rather struggle and be close to the Lord than not be close to Him and have everything comfortable and easy. I mean, so uh, Baruch Hashem, uh, the struggle has been a blessing. <laughs> Um, but I've had three days now with the new job, and it's been great. Um, please continue to pray, though, for me. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a situation where it's part-time to begin with and full-time after a certain period, and if they like me. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm okay with it being part-time at this point because it's, it's not really good pay. Um, but if they offered full-time... Um, it would be awesome, and also if they increase the pay. Um, but guys, it's it's hard to find a good job. I don't care what the news is saying about Oklahoma. It's it's hard to find a good job. Um, it really is. I, I don't know how people are living out there. I guess they're struggling. <laughs> We're all struggling, right? Um, and it's just going to get more difficult in these times as we lead up to the return of our king to the earth. Um, but we gotta stay joyful, we gotta stay mindful and joyful and and not be frivolous. And I know that I've had times where things just seem amazing and I'm not I'm not thinking and maybe more frivolous than I should be. Um, one of the things that's been really difficult to come to terms with is, um, and I'm praying about it, so no decision made yet, but the uh, possibility of letting go of my, my horse. Whew, guys, that's hard. Um, but I also am in a place in my life now where like, the Lord used my horse to really help heal my heart when I lost my mom. But I'm in a better place now. Um, and it's not that deep down, like, I, I don't want to let her go. But on the other hand, things are difficult. And having horses, uh, it's, it's hard right now, you know? Um, it's not that I won't have a horse later. I do believe with all my heart. I, I can't be without a horse. I really can't. <laughs> like, a horse and myself. It's just got to be together. Um and yeah it's like i just can't imagine not having one but um so it, it wouldn't be for forever it would be just if this is what's to be and again i'm praying about it it would be for a time so i am gonna post a really cool did a photo shoot actually with my horse a friend and with a friend i'm talking too fast sorry <laughs> i know this video has to be short so i'm, I'm talking real fast um but with a friend i had a photo shoot with my horse and harps of mine turned out really awesome shout out to uh, joey Santi santiago um and i'm hoping to share with you guys uh some clips of my horse um and if, if that is what the lord wants me to do just prayers please for for a great home for her um and peace for me um yeah Um, yeah, that's really it. Um, I hope you all are doing amazing. I love you all. Shalom, shalom. Um, but again, just want to clarify with the P.O. Box. I'm going to close it, um, due to finances, but also I just, I do feel peace about it. And that's what I was going to share. That's right. I was going to say that, unfortunately, and I know this happens, this is why it has, you have to be so careful in ministry. 
unfortunately there are people in the world who are drawn to the person more than God himself and that's not to say I haven't had people who genuinely are drawn uh, to God himself in me but it's like there has to be a, a balance and boundaries and so what's been hard on my heart during this time of having a P.O. box is things have been sent to me from from ladies that have been awesome and then from from guys um, and again this is also on my part too um, there's been mis misunderstandings it's like if I say thank you even or if I just respond thank you or bless you sometimes it's misunderstood to mean something more than just that and that's been hard for me because I don't ever want anyone to think um, or misunderstand when I share something whether it be in a letter or in an email I want them to know that my um, intentions are absolutely pure I am not have never been looking for a relationship whatsoever online um, if you've been a subscriber long enough you might know some of the videos way back um, where I had spoken about how um, when I was like 18 I had some online relationship and um, and the Lord brought me through that to understand how that was really not what I was supposed to have in my life and since then I have never vowed to never have an online uh, relationship whatsoever um, and God's been good to me to uh, to bless me in that I've had just the most amazing friends in my life and I am married to him and I love that and uh, yeah I've already said too much though this video was supposed to be short thank you for listening blessings love you shalom shalom